Hello and welcome back here friends, it's me Odo, I'm in my path in the Kingmaker campaign. Um, at the time we are in the, um, we need some water flows. In the last episode, and we have here one visitor with a name. And here, young woman catches your eye. She looks like she's made a perfect human protect you. I'm happy to meet you, a worthy one. Okay, my name is Shanya, but you may simply call me the top, as all the best of my friends do. Ever since the sun rose today. I've had a feeling that I shall take part in a grand encounter, one that shall change our fates forever. I know it is so. Please be the perfect human for the gift you have bestowed upon these eyes that see the future. And so we meet. What next? You, a worthy one, can help me find my calling. I'm beset by doubt. What if, by choosing the path of a master smith, I'm making a terrible mistake? After all, I, Shainya the Tulip, have seen many wonders she likes of which your humble realm has never heard of, and I wish to recount them. But alas, I cannot write in your language, for this reason I require a writer and a worthy one. Really, do you? I have witnessed Master Chocolate, come up and make him tattoos, and a human grew out of them, for these patterns were so intricate and deep that the ink became more important than the flesh. Trust me, for I have woven the tale of these events myself. Perhaps I can design to become the muse of a great writer. If a worthy one, you find a suitable scribe for me. I shall pay you back handsomely with my wisdom and advice. I am grateful, O oh worthy one. I shall relate to you the story of my ancestor, Wubalak. Let us see if she is nimble enough to write it all down without omitting any of the colorful details. I greet you, young Vincy. I pay that you are worthy. Fortunate, or I can embellish it with a few stories that I have lived through during my adventures. Once I met a monk from the house of Sebastian in Dan's attic and hadn't eaten for four whole years. Hold on, four whole four years? Are you sure that he ate absolutely nothing? Maybe it was, well, you know, some sort of moderate fasting. More like a diet, and when you do it, but only a little bit. No, no, no. Why would you think that breaking his escasses would have been a shameful weakness? He did not eat at all. The people revered him as a pious and enlightened man whose spirit was very strong. But I, as soon as I met him, suspected that he might be a liar, so I decided to expose him for what it really was. I... Wait, one four years? That's impossible. If I skip that, in you know, my stomach hurts so badly, I can't even walk. It's really hard to believe that the monk could spend the whole four years like... By paying attention to such unimportant details, you run the risk of missing the heart of the matter. As I was saying, I decided to bring the monk's dishonesty to light. I enlisted the services of a shaitan who owned him over. His, this earth genie stood in front of the monk and sang a song. At that very moment, the hermit's face twitched and a stream of stones erupted from his mouth. Imagine this. He had swallowed rocks to fill up his stomach to save himself the pangs of hunger. Hmm, he swallowed enough stones to fill his stomach and lived, and never had to eat again. As far as I know, 
doesn't work like that. I'll write down your story. It doesn't enjoy much success. It's just too incredible for our provincial audience. Hmm. Perhaps I'm not as good at telling stories as I thought. After all, putting the events of the past into words is not quite the same thing as witnessing them. Perhaps I chose wrongly when I decided to become muse. Until I can answer this question, I shall remain true to be the calling I've always pursued, weaponsmithing. In your kindness, you could indulge me once more to grant me a workshop in these lands. Yeah, well, we'll do that. Let's listen to the story because we are nice. Okay, I'll took um, Lindsay and Tristan with us instead of Harim and Chuginost. Let's try to kill this tree. Pretty sure we could do this right now. Trouble there. We want to go to the Bell Dame anyway. May we have a moment of respite? Yeah, of course. We'll just rest a bit. Nah. Have you ever thought of leaving the world of Tal? Finding a new path? Putting away your sword? What a dead yes. Or your stolen right of way. It's pretty valuable. Okay, let's enter. I think most of the monsters are still too strong for us. I think the sycamore tree could be could be worth trying to kill. Well, there is the wedding.
welcome here. Okay. Um, you. Okay, there's the three. First of all, you. Yeah, well, with my phone, all of us. You do this. You probably will shoot. Save game first. Mm, take the and let's see you move here and to the good help ah i'll have to Good help. Um, Where is your brain? Nope, garbage. And you.
Okay. There it comes. Ah, oh, it's quite big. Let's do a fireball because you know. Fire seems quite good against this kind of enemy. Not sure, but I don't think that your spell are good against that. Hold person. Yeah, well, probably not. Good help. Why didn't you? Ah, you did the good help. Oh, the haste. Hmm. Nice. Let's see what it can do. Yay, it attacked. Miri. Uh, battery. That's great. Hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't aim true. You aim the neben. Yay. Mm-hmm. That bad. Come on. Why did you... Oh. That's so stupid. Why would you run into this cache? It's over here already. Oh, come on. Uh, 
and Uh, yeah, well, let's see. Oh, you have restoration. Nope. You're not the kind of mate. Oh, uh, of. We have some potions of restoration. One, Ugh. you still have an ability. All of them. Okay, um, yeah, let's see what we will find there. Ah, this is the matter that we... That we got the matter from Federal Senate. We can't have... I mean, I just... In the in, ep, in the in episode, um, my dear Baron Lestat, but I'll start right these words. Yeah, I I sum this up. This is the time. Who runs the old eternal flame? Uh, eternal rose. And these are Shadin priests and paladins and stuff, and they want Valerie back. We probably have to talk to Valerie. Okay, not that. Might be more complicated here. May I spend without you seems to drag on forever. The one thing left to do is to think about coming wedding. Only you know how I long for this day to finally come. Each time I close my eyes, I see us together. I see happy guests and people step out for a feast. I smell the fragrance of flowers and fine cuisine. I hear cheap. It. I feel your touch as we whirl and dance, but even these dreams pale in comparison to the mere thought of the eternity we spend together. Shall love you forever, even after death, let the world pass between one and the cross all of creation. Only one thing disturbs my happiness. I know that someone tried to interfere with our wedding. My former groom, Dorsey, has talked into trying to disrupt the ceremony. Picture this father took it in his head that since he is a headman of our village, can decide my fate. But don't you worry me enough. They are plotting for our heart. No gods could prevent our union for a higher force is standing behind us. A few nights ago, I dreamed, dreamt, dreamt, I think of a mesmerizing maiden who told me how to free myself out of my father's group. I did everything as she told. Oh, hmm. I was so angry with him. Now, of course, I'm beset with doubt. Was it the right thing to do? Still, I hardly think any of this is more than pure superstition. That's strange. I cannot change. 
how things are, and I could have ramped up absolutely nothing. Think nothing of this, my love. Think only of me. I love you. I cannot wait for our day. Your new time. So the um the nymph that's after us is not there. She's a very evil demon and she probably also got this poor girl. Oh see her. Huh? That's the one for the picture. Ha. Huh? That rascal will have some tales to tell, no doubt. He was her fiance, Lucy. Rich handsome. He was courting her, and then all of a sudden she changed her mind about being wed. The old man sighs and puts the thing struck. Ah, uh, my new talent for walking and found a new love there, one of the fae naturally drove Dorsey into a rage, screaming the fae had charmed her image away. But in the moment he turns to you, eyebrows raised. What man can can compare with the beauty of the fae? Newton left Dorsey of her own free will. Maybe she did. By the time of wedding I had passed. A marriage wasn't unheard of here in the village. In the place in the woods, twists happened. Not alone. Children were born, like Elga Vernix, for instance. Her mom conceived her in the forest, her father, a satyr of all things. Elga was born with greenish skin and sharp ears. Ah, but so sharp, pretty she was. I wish I knew what's happened. Okay. Let's move on. To the heart. And talk to this guy. Yep, let's give her the mushroom. How strong these will be good, all right. I've heard a daughter of a human had, and a fae used to live here. Whatever I do her might be me, she sighs, or might not. What's the difference? Who would still remember that name? I've no idea. Used to be a village here once. Good folk, well off, but not so well off to put on airs. They were at peace. Even had festivals celebrated with them. But that was long ago. Six or seven dozen years ago. As for what ruined them, I don't know. Got a gas though, and the darkest night strange sound come from deep in the woods, cracking and moaning as if a great tree shook in its roots, rattling its branches like stones. There's something here. Creature that drove away Falkid. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. You can let me die. The herb is useful, but not by itself. Look here. Okay. We can now, oh, we could buy these potions for the temple. 
scroll of eight there. I'm gonna do the natural root of three whole stones. The frost quarter stuff plus two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's buy this. Okay. Mm, now go to D here. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Is it possible to? I'm pretty sure. Let's see how much. So we've got one dizzy head, three of these, and two of these, and one mud leaf, and two dizzy heads. Yeah, they are. Hmm. This red weeps softly, head on the satyr's shoulders, he stroked the hair. It has a dude croaking in his hair. Holy kittens, little kids, Faye, Ray and Faye, hello there. Thanks, he waves her hand to the what an amazing couple. What could bind these creatures so, with them being so different? Peace, my queen. We thank you. Here is your reward, Teresio. Hence your small chest. We get gold coins, jade coins, three times. Okay. Um, is that so? That's welcome news. Why or why didn't she visit? Did you really forget me? I was so much fun that night. Uh, just a moment. Here, please give her this. Okay. We get good money from that. Okay, let's see if we can get the dizzy thing. We need to go into the Okay.
Oh, why did you go there? Stupid. Oh. Got through. So, one dizzy head still. You. Yeah, there's the one to be the head. Um, there is a big slug. Okay. Why are the giants luck so fast? Mm -hmm. You don't hit. Ah, uh, you should have. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay. No, don't shoot at me. Okay.
Yeah. Okay, and that's the thought hole. Back here. First slug is gone. Oh, come on. Really? Let's take it back to the top. Really? <laughs> Slugs dead. They don't have anything for us. So, okay. Let's see. Do we find something? Like loot. Oh, we found multi. We don't need that anymore. Really, nothing. What this is it? Don't need any more of this. Yeah, of course. <sighs> okay, that's good. new nope like we can find the clue of the young maiden like down there in the far left corner Oh. Oops. This was not good. If it's just one, it's okay. But I think it's two. Yep. 
Of course, it's two. I hate will wisps. They're so stupid. Okay, what's that? Protect from evil. That's good. For stock. At least they are not um, Really? Can we not start? It's this this is not a spell. There are other ways. Yeah, 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 of course. So do we have any Stunning burial. Oh, wrong turn level. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Nothing here. Mm-hmm. Ooh, okay. Normally he can't hide anymore. The cup of a beautiful girl lays on the middle of the game. You can see the black stain of his blood in his flowing dress. Despite the years that have passed since the girl's left the body, there is no sign of the stain. Her pale hands cut me a white lily, upholded, blah 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 blah. The hands get hands, and let on to sleep, or you will regret it. So sad and romantic. Whoever she was, someone really loved her. Um,
Mm -hmm. That's cool. Rustling of the branches sounds like quiet weeping. Okay. Something. That's it. Nothing more. Well, that's done. And talk with the Belgian dame. Ah, uh, I should have fetched the. Uh, give her that. Okay. Well, that's it. Okay, let's fit some more of the of the mushrooms. I will do so only in between episodes. And this was it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you.